just tried the headset on. It's incredible. And so how many years is it actually taking to develop the headset? Yeah. What you saw here was a mixed reality training solution built by Barrio and Leonardo to uh, create training environments for their M346 plane. Uh, we've spent the last two years working on this with Leonardo to optimize all the integration, the headset and the overall system. You get a really crisp combination of mixed and virtual reality. The important thing here is how tightly you integrate the virtual experience with the cockpit itself. So then a lot of time in Leonardo making sure we can get the, the lighting correct, the masking correct, so the boundaries between mixed and virtual reality are absolutely seamless in the app. Like our tuning makes simulation really realistic and creates that feeling of absolute immersion when you're in the sim. What do you see are the benefits in using mixed reality for training? I think the general case what Mitchell training lets you do is to train scenarios which are high risk or difficult or expensive to perform in reality in a virtual environment. And so that can be true both in land and also in air from this world, right? And so here you see something much more cost effective to fly a plane on the ground in a simulator than it would be in the air in these scenarios. This will actually cut down on military budgets, won't it? Yeah, I think we're seeing that the total number of training hours will remain quite constant, but the quality of training will increase. So rather than desk-based training or custom-based training, it's more simulator training time, because what these trainers do, it has more sims available for those uh, users to go and train in, as opposed to a very small number of domes they previously had. It's more about expanding the capacity for training, I'd say, and the quality of training going up for the same budget overall.